Hey there! Welcome back to Trivia Tales. Today, we're going to talk about one of the most iconic artifacts from ancient Egypt, King Tutankhamun's mask. The Golden Mask, which was discovered in 1922 by British archaeologist Howard Carter, has long been considered a masterpiece of ancient art. But recently, scientists made a shocking discovery about the mask that has changed our understanding of its history. So, let's dive into the details and find out what's underneath King Tut's mask. First, let's talk about King Tutankhamun and his mask. King Tutankhamun, also known as King Tut, was an Egyptian pharaoh who ruled from 1332 to 1323 BC. He became famous after his tomb was discovered in the Valley of the Kings in 1922, nearly intact and filled with treasures. One of the most impressive treasures was his golden mask, which covered his mummified face. For decades, the mask was believed to be a solid piece of gold, with inlaid eyes made of obsidian, quartz, and lapis lazuli. But in 2015, a team of scientists used CT scans to examine the mask in detail, and they made a shocking discovery there was something underneath the gold. The scans revealed that the mask was made of two layers of gold, with a layer of linen in between. But what was most surprising was that there was a black substance between the linen and the gold. This substance turned out to be a kind of resin, which had been used to glue the layers of gold together. This discovery has raised a lot of questions. Why did the ancient Egyptians use resin to glue the layers of gold together? Was it a common practice, or was it unique to King Tut's mask? And what does this tell us about the technology and craftsmanship of ancient Egypt? One theory is that the resin was used to make the mask more durable and to prevent the gold from cracking or breaking. Another theory is that the resin was used to make the mask more aesthetically pleasing, by filling in any gaps or imperfections in the gold. But whatever the reason, this discovery has given us a new appreciation for the craftsmanship and ingenuity of ancient Egypt. But the discovery of the resin layer also raises another question. How did the ancient Egyptians apply the resin to the mask? The answer to this question lies in the ancient Egyptian technology of metallurgy. The ancient Egyptians were skilled metallurgists, and they had developed techniques for working with gold that were far ahead of their time. They knew how to melt and cast gold, and they could also hammer it into thin sheets, which they then used to cover objects like King Tut's mask. To apply the resin, the ancient Egyptians would have first prepared the surface of the gold by cleaning it and roughening it with a tool like a chisel or a scraper. They would then have applied the resin to the surface, using a brush or a spatula. Once the resin had been applied, they would have carefully placed the linen layer on top of it, and then added the second layer of gold. The use of resin in King Tut's mask is not the only example of ancient Egyptian metallurgy. In fact, Many other ancient Egyptian artifacts, including jewelry, statues, and other masks, have been found to have been made using similar techniques. This suggests that the use of resin was a common practice in ancient Egypt, and that the ancient Egyptians were skilled at using it to create durable and beautiful objects. So, there you have it, folks. King Tut's mask has revealed a shocking secret underneath, a layer of resin that was used to glue the layers of gold together. This discovery has given us a new appreciation for the craftsmanship and ingenuity of ancient Egypt, and has raised many questions about the technology and techniques that were used to create such beautiful and durable objects. We may never know all the answers, but the discovery of the resin layer has certainly added to our understanding of this fascinating period in history. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time on Trivia Tales.